What's going on, guys? Let's hide and read. Got our weekly Western wrap up. Black coffee. All right. This week, it's a little bit of a different uh, Western wrap-up. I've been talking, I've been looking for like Neo-Western or something similar to this, but I don't want to look at a list and then have something chosen. So I'm just kind of looking around. So far, it's been a bust. Uh, this is the closest I've gotten this week, so we're going for it. We're on the hard case imprint it's say it with bullets by richard powell say it with bullets and uh yeah let's get right into it the main character of this story say it with bullets is bill wayne and bill wayne is an ex army pilot maybe air force pilot um but in the Korean War or perhaps something similar to that time period. I'm not sure when this was written. Let me check real quick. There's not a lot about um, 1953. So probably was that Korean War. So he's in the Korean War. Him and four of his friends from the military decide to stay and they open up a business. Um, like flying cargo planes, basically, uh, in China over, um, I, I'm sorry, my, my geography is terrible, but there's a big mountain and they they fly over the mountain and they deliver supplies and stuff. So they have this business and then, uh, I guess communists take over and, um, everybody has to leave and they're supposed to be evacuating citizens. But his, Bill Wayne's um, friends, his business partners, decide it's more lucrative to, um, to carry boxes of medical supplies. But inside the, the boxes of medical supplies is actually gold. And they're shipping, they're flying gold out, probably stolen from the government or something. And... Uh, yeah, they're, they're all going to, you know, make their money. So, uh, this, he, you know, he, he's the good guy, Bill Wayne. They, he knows what's going on. He realizes something is up and somebody shoots him in the back. He doesn't know who it is. They leave him for dead on the, on the airstrip and take off in the plane. Later on, this plane gets into the, into the U.S. and crashes into a lake and they can't they can't get to the gold so all his buddies his friends and business partners have to uh work basically to save up money and uh fish this gold out of this lake that's inside of the the plane okay so they all think that he's dead he actually survives he comes back to the to the uh usa and somebody tries to kill him at which point he realizes that he has to go and pursue these these gentlemen because they're actively trying to kill him he doesn't know he doesn't really know about the gold per se and or you know what exactly happened he just knows that somebody shot him and they left him for dead in china okay that's background for say with bullets and you're gonna see this um this unfold on a a bus trip across the the western states so he finds he finds the addresses for for his uh, ex business partners and just so happens that a tour company has a western tour and he's going to take this tour and on each of the stops he's going to visit his his buddies okay So it sounds like this guy's a badass, right? Well, he's really not. He's really not. 
he messes everything up almost every single time. Um, he even thinks that he's like doing some like tough guy stuff, and it turns out it wasn't even him. Like he mistakenly thinks that he's he's the one doing some of this stuff, and uh, yeah, he's he's not he's not like a normal hero per se. Like he's clearly the good guy, but he's like rude to everybody um he's very dismissive of this this female uh character holly clark i think was her name and um she actually ends up being like a big part of the story she's very capable and also very kind of like mean and witty at the same time and that a lot of it is the two of them just like kind of um berating each other a little bit and uh yeah, he's really mean. He's, like, really mean. It's kind of shocking, to be honest, to have the good guy be so rude. But that's how Richard Powell wrote it. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to read. When I picked this book up, um, I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> There's, like, a mark in his forehead. And I was wondering, what? What is that? And I'm re the opening is really good. And I'm reading it. And then my fingernail slipped into that little spot on his forehead. I was like, oh, that's what it was. So I'm just reading this one really hard. The opening is pretty cool. It'll get your attention for sure. Um, oh, just back to the Western elements real quick and then we'll, we'll get over it. Um, yeah, they didn't, didn't do enough of the Western um, scenery and setting, in my opinion, to make it feel like a true western um it's mostly just the plot lends itself to kind of kind of like western elements but i it would have been a lot cooler if honestly there was more western stuff because the author was going for that there's a cowboy in here um there's fist fighting there's there's gun draws there's um you know there's a lot of things that you'll have in a in a western there's the the female uh character that It's from 1953, so a big thing about women not wanting things, but wanting things, and it's one of those. Um, yeah, if that makes you terribly uncomfortable, maybe don't read this one. <laughs> probably a lot. Uh, probably a lot of these books on this uh, hard case crime imprint are going to be kind of rough for you if that's your pet peeve in these older stories, but. She's a, she's tough. She's tough. Like she's smarter than him for sure. And probably more capable too. Um, yeah, those are, those are the West. Like there, there's a, there's a cowboy and he, he is like kind of like the, um, like a satire of, of the cowboy hero character. And he should be the, he should be the main character. But Bill Wayne is like completely the opposite of this. You know, he's disrespectful to women. He's like kind of weak. You know, he doesn't, he's like, he doesn't look good, basically. And, uh, yeah, he has to duke it out with this cowboy a little bit. And, uh, I won't, I won't spoil that part for you, but, yeah, it was fun to read. Uh, this is my first. First book on the, the hard case crime uh, imprint. Um, next week we'll definitely do a more typical Western. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe show off. Uh, I have lots of nonfiction uh, Western books. And it looks like YouTube, uh, BookTube, all the boys are going to be showing off their Western books. So maybe I could show off. My nonfiction westerns. I don't think anybody will be doing that because, uh, yeah, western genre fiction is really primarily historical fiction. Um, I think a lot of times it gets mislabeled as like uh, action adventure, men's romance, Americana. It has it has these elements in it, but. If you're reading a Western and it's just that, if it's just like action adventure or men's romance, like something like, you know, then it becomes like a corny, uh, 
you know, like the idea of a Western when really you want all these elements to come together and truthfully what it really is is historical fiction and if you if you like shared universe like that was pretty I feel like shared universe is it was huge everybody wanted to be invested in some kind of shared universe whether it was Marvel um Dark Tower uh Game of Thrones like all this stuff people love the shared universe now guys western is shared universe every single western that's written is in the same universe and on top of that it's not that long ago um you could still meet people that you know their their grandpa or something was it was like a gunfighter or something it's not impossible you can meet people from this shared universe there's a ton of literature um yeah not all of it's good not every Marvel comic book is good either, but people eat the stuff up. So, you know, do your due diligence. Don't try to write off the entire genre as one thing, because it's not. And, um, yeah, just ha have fun exploring the genre if that sounds cool to you. Uh, whether or not we'll still be here wrapping up Westerns on a weekly basis, it's high to read. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment for me. Maybe a thumbs up or something. It's good for the algorithm. Catch you later. Peace.